Durst the worst. Durst the worst. Durst the worst. Oh, Durst the worst. Durst is the worst. Durst 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 the worst. So yeah, you get it. <laughs> yeah, this guy gets it. So when they start interviewing people, you gotta get the whole thing, okay? Because everyone's so focused on anyone with COVID that we're forgetting about all these people who are suffering as well. And these numbers are way higher than the people who are sick with COVID or dying with COVID. We certainly care about those people and feel bad for them, but we care about these people too. What would you like to see? I would like to see our state to start opening up now. You know, slowly, if, you know, we need to start opening up now because those jobs are gone. People aren't going to be able to go back to any work. We're just messing up our economy. So you want to see a slow progression to open? Well, I'm just being politically correct there. I think we should just open up. What's the difference? We all go to these stores now. Everybody's out. Nobody's social distancing. So, but, you know, if that makes people feel safer, then you can do it in phases. But they need to do it right now. Do you think, I know a lot of people are talking about people, uh, businesses being closed and things like that. Do you think that people will be going to those businesses? Oh, Absolutely. Absolutely. I was going to go to yesterday if anything opened. We had a bunch of people who are willing to go to any business that's willing to open. I think it, people are going to go out in droves. Definitely. Do you feel that the governor's going to be slow? Absolutely. He's going to be too slow. I don't know. Um, there's, the unemployment rate in the state is extremely high. People are in food pantry lines. The suicide hotlines are, you know, blowing up. We have to address these problems, too. The people with COVID matter as well, but these people matter too. What part of the state do you live in? I live in Pewaukee. What do you think about what's happening specifically in Milwaukee? What do you mean, like the numbers? The numbers are all pretty much concentrated in one part of the state. Yeah, well, again, you know, it's people are like, we're all in this together. It's like, well, no, we're not really, because if it's concentrated in certain areas, why is everybody else suffering? You know what I mean? It's like, then Milwaukee maybe has a slower reopening. But out here, we shouldn't have to, you know, everybody suffering for specific places. For example, Hawaii has like 16 deaths, the whole state shut down. That makes no sense. So it's, you know, all relative, I think. Do you think social distancing played a role in those numbers being low? Well? I'm sure it did. Like, I was all for lockdown in the beginning, you know, but it met its goal. You know, we got the numbers down and everything, and it's time to reopen up because the cure or the solution is hurting more people than it's helping. You know, it's not the government's job to keep us from complete exposure to things. They did what it was supposed to do, and now it's time to reopen our state. Now, if, if the state reopened and people get sick and people die, that's gonna you know, we don't gonna know get sick. Don't know it's going to go up. That's common sense. Do you think people will blame the government? Absolutely, they're going to blame the government. They're going to blame all of us. They're going to say how selfish we are, how stupid we are. It's common sense Karen. that as more people go out, the numbers are going to go up. That's okay. You know, I mean... Most people survive. The 99%, you know, survival rate, recovery rate. It sucks getting sick. I get that, but it sucks having all this too. So yeah, people are getting sick. What, what do you think about people characterizing this whole movement as a bunch of entitled Karens who just want to get their hair cut? What's with the name Karen? That's they hate you. That's, they hate that you is because so you're so insulting. Because they hate you because you're white. I mean, that's what it is. I, um, people who say that that's ridiculous. I would never want to say open up because I want to go get my hair done. That's the or meme, because though. Because I want to go get a drink at a bar. That's ridiculous. I care about people. You know, right. I, I care about these people. I'm getting paid. I'm working. You know, so I'm not really being affected. Yeah, I'm home. So what? You know, I'm fine. These are the people that are suffering, and we need to come out for them. Not because we want to go get our hair cut. Like, that's just ridiculous. Just like when they're accusing small business owners of being selfish because they want to open. How are they being selfish? They want to provide for their families. You know, they they worked hard. They used their money to open a business. Good for them. Why, you know, why should they lose everything? It's not just about money. It's about caring for your family, taking care of these people. If you could speak directly to the governor, what would you say to him? I would tell the governor to stop being such a wimp reopen our state, we have constitutional rights, and that he's not going to get reelected, you know, if he doesn't. Because we are all mad, and he's hurting our state. So he needs to reopen now. It's not going to go away on May 27. It's yeah. not going to go away. So why is there a target date? Right. We're going to open now, and then... The news is fake! The tyranny is real! We're going to keep 
outside fighting. And so we're going to keep protesting. We're going to show up at his mansion. We're going to do whatever we have to do to get our state open. Not because we want to go to the bar and get our haircuts, but because these people matter too. Do you think, I mean, he, he started in a real way and started trying to slowly reopen the state or do you feel like no he's, he's just not. covering his butt whenever he makes a gesture it's just to cover his butt he doesn't care See, nothing he has done makes any sense at all we can all go to costco walmart wherever but we can't go you know he doesn't want to let small businesses open that makes no sense at all i can't go somewhere where there's seven people in my gym but you know where we clean the machines and there's only seven of us but i can go to walmart it's just so illogical. None of it makes sense, which makes me frustrated that people aren't questioning any of this. Like, it's not logical. And from the citizens' perspective, does it seem confusing from the top? Yeah, not just the governor, but the president down or... Yeah, I mean, I love Trump. Go Trump. I don't understand why, you know, maybe he's just, you know, being politically safe. Um, but, yeah, I don't understand that why, you know, they're not saying, let's go. Let's open up our country. Because enough's enough. Can you spell your name for me? D U A N E K A R E N. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice job, Carol. Edit your job. I'll hire you. I'll support you. I'm trying, bitch.